Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. <clears throat> um, today I have a beer from uh, Masthead Brewing Company out of Cleveland, Ohio. Definitely the first review I've done for these guys. I've actually never even been to the brewery. But uh, one of my buddies who lives in Cleveland was nice enough to uh, give me a four pack of these cans. Uh, so this beer is called Hazelnut Tiramisu Underverse Bourbon Barrel Age Imperial Milk Stout. Uh, description here says, our bourbon barrel aged Imperial Milk Stout has returned from its journey. We took some of our favorite things on the planet and brought them together. Freshly empty bur Woodford Reserve Bourbon Barrels Imperial Milk Stout slumbered <coughs> with genuine Madagascar vanilla beans, cacao nibs, and six shooter coffee beans. We infuse this batch with hazelnuts. So it's imperial milk stout with vanilla beans, cacao nibs, coffee beans, and hazelnuts. So lots of stuff going on here. Um, and it is 10.2 ABV, so definitely not messing around. That's thick with two C's. <clears throat> so as you can see, it pours a uh, really dark brown to black color with a uh, a pretty small um, darker tan to beige head. The aroma I'm going to have to give the uh, I ha I got four of these cans I drank two this is my third one the fourth one I didn't know what I was going to do with I'm going to have to give it to my friend in Pittsburgh cuz he loves hazelnut stuff and the um I mean the aroma on this thing is just insane if you like hazelnut it's it's straight hazelnut and fudge um very very light barrel it does smell like it's going to be pretty sweet which i already know it is because i've had it but it's been a while since i've had it so i want to give it a proper review <clears throat> i will say that it, it is sweet but in my opinion, it's still nowhere near the level of um, sweetness of like, I'm trying to think like ang angry chair stuff. Uh, honestly, to me, it, I there's definitely hazelnut, but to me it's more vanilla and milk chocolate than it is hazelnut. I think the coffee is kind of just serves to uh, blend those all together and make sure that none of them are too sweet. And the nice thing too is there there really is a, a nice underlying oaky bourbony character. Um, and I think that helps it from being too sweet too. Um, honestly... For how much people like these sweeter stouts now, I feel like if this was from Angry Chair or Wakefield or any of those guys, people would be going ape shit over this. Uh, it's not like the most massive beer I've ever had in terms of body, but it's still pretty thick. Um, thicker than most Imperial stouts. And I... I honestly think that this is, uh, that the, all of those flavorings, the additives, have fallen off a little bit since I first drank this, which to my, in my opinion is actually a good thing, because I thought it was just a little bit much, I mean, I, I liked it, but I thought it was a little bit much, um, a little too sweet, but now I feel like some of that, a little bit of that vanilla and the cacao nibs and the hazelnut is dropping off. 
more of the coffee is showing, more of the barrel itself is showing. I mean, it is still definitely, I mean, the name still definitely serves it well. It's still, for sure, a uh, dessert beer, but it's not completely over the top. And, the, like I said, the, the fact that you can still get, you can still get the barrel out of it, I think is what really makes it great. If it was just those flavors, it might be a little bit much, but... Yeah, this is really, really nice. Um, these were $10 a can. Which, I mean, for a, bar a huge barrel aged imperial stout with all that stuff they threw in it, I mean, I don't really consider that that expensive. You know, when you scale it up, that's probably, that's only like a $16, $17 bomber. Or no, I don't even know if it's that much. It's only like a, a, like a $15 bomber, which in today's standards is pretty cheap. Like, so, but I think. The fact that it's a can and it's one can and it's ten dollars kind of, you know, shakes people the wrong way. But I, if you really break it down per ounce, it's only about it's slightly less than an or not slightly less than ten. I was thinking fifteen. Yeah, it's about um two. I don't know an ounce and a half, a dollar for an ounce and a half, something like that. So. To me, that's um, more than reasonable for something of this level and this quality. So, I would absolutely buy this again, especially now that I feel like it's kind of mellowing out and it, I'm liking it even more. I would definitely buy this. This is one I, I tried to throw cans of this in for trades for like local Charlotte beer, and because people didn't know about it, like no one jumped on it, and they absolutely missed out because this is, thing is awesome. So. I'm kind of glad that that didn't happen. I'm definitely going to either drink the other one or give it to my close friend because it's a really good beer. <clears throat> like I said before, uh, this is, for me, this is definitely a bye, bye, bye. So that's pretty much all I got on this guy. And please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.